Hello, and welcome to another one of Sporty's how-to videos. Today we are going to cover how to configure the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the configuration for a commercial four-engine jetliner. We're going to go ahead and set our Honeycomb Bravo to the exact same uh, design or layout as what they provide in their manual. You'll see lever one is dedicated to the speed brake. Lever two is going to be throttle one. Lever three is going to be throttle two. Lever four is going to be throttle three. Lever five will be throttle four. And lastly, lever six is going to be our flaps. So we'll head on back to the home page and get started by heading on over to the options tab and we'll head to our controls page. All right, and here you can see we've got our Bravo throttle quadrant chosen as the piece we want to edit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change it just to uh, essential items. And you'll see here default. We're starting uh, at the default setting for the Bravo throttle quadrant, which is multi-engine GA. That's two throttle, two prop, and two mixture controls on the six levers. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and start cleaning all of these off. Uh, that way we're starting with a blank canvas and that way it's also not giving any incorrect issues. So we'll start clicking on these, clearing them out. And as you can see, it's asking, what would you like to save this profile as? Uh, very helpful when configuring different levers for different airplane profiles. So we're going to go ahead and save this as commercial four engine. And that way in the future we can quickly cycle to it and all the commands we set up today uh, will go into the digital airplane from the said levers. All right, and as you can see, commercial four engines ready to go. Let's go ahead and keep clearing out the beginning or default commands that were for the multi-general aviation aircraft. Again, this is to make sure there aren't any other hidden bugs or issues that would deter or get away from accurate simulated flight. And we're clearing up the propeller commands. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and take care of the throttle commands. All right, and just a couple more to go. All right, so we've cleared out all the commands. We can now start fresh and dedicate these six levers to what we would like. So I'm going to go ahead and start with applying uh, power. So we'll begin with throttle. And let's go to the throttle one axis. Oh, there we are. And I'm going to go ahead and start scanning and then just slowly move throttle one lever. And the system will pick up that this is left axis X. We're going to go ahead and validate it and save it. As you can see, when I move lever one, it is giving input. Now for throttles, we will have to reverse the axes to where when I go full throttle on the system, uh, it, it sends a full throttle uh, command to the simulator. Don't ask me why, we just have to reverse the axes for those. Uh, we'll go ahead and apply throttle one decrease now. This is going to be our thrust reversers. So as I move throttle one all the way to the back detente, it's scanning, and then also uh, pull that thrust reverser lever, it's going to save those two buttons, and when those two buttons are enacted, it will decrease our throttle AK going to thrust reverser mode. Now one or the other uh, does not work, you can't go all the way back and it engages, it has to be both all the way back in the detente and reverser. And then full throttle, we're going to set this as our red little button on the side, the toga button. Uh, and what that will simulate is once we've got all the engines set to full throttle, when we push that one little red button, all of them will go full power and that's to simulate our takeoff or go around scenario. So here I am going ahead and I'm doing the same thing for all throttles. Throttle two axes is right axes Z. We'll reverse that axis. Now we're looking set. We're going to do the same thing for decrease, back to taunt, and the little lever. Let's validate it. So both of those will be needed for throttle two to decrease or uh, engine two to go thrust reverser. We want to make sure we've also got the takeoff go around command set to engine two. And we will get this notification that it is applied to other commands 
that's perfectly fine. We want this one button to give full throttle to engine one, two, three, and four. Doing the same thing for throttle three axes, confirm. Do not forget to reverse the axes. Let's go ahead and set up the thrust reversers for engine three. Okay, let's make sure engine three is a participant when we push the toga button. Okay, and then last but not least, let's go take care of engine four. Throttle four axes is lever four. Let's move that forward, okay. Don't forget to reverse it. Let's go ahead and take care of the thrust reversers or throttle decrease. Lever four, most detente, and that button pulled back, looking good. And then lastly, full throttle four for the toga button. Okay, we are all set on throttle. Now let's go ahead and take care of flight control services. We'll head to secondary and we're gonna begin with our flaps axes. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start scanning and slowly move that flap lever. It recognizes that's left axis Z. We'll validate it and as I move that lever, it is giving input. Now, uh, we do not need to reverse the axes for either the flaps or the spoilers. Don't ask me why. Uh, it just works out to you have to for the thrust, but not for the flaps or spoilers. And there's the spoiler axes. I did the same thing. I scanned and it's giving me input. So now we've got all six of our levers configured for a commercial four engine airliner. I'm going to go ahead and save so we don't lose our progress. Okay. And all we have left to do is jump in the airplane and make sure everything works the way we programmed it. All right, so here we are at sunny Logan International Airport in Boston. We're on runway 22 left in a 747-8 Intercontinental. Parking brake is set, all engines are running, and we're gonna make sure that our commands are working on the flight deck as we would prefer. So we're gonna go ahead and pan down to the throttle levers, and I'm gonna start by testing my air brake. So let's go ahead, or speed brake pull that okay works as it should let's go ahead and test throttle one check throttle two throttle three throttle four okay let's go ahead and move our flaps handle as you can see on the far right side and it is making noise as it moves so flaps are operating as I would prefer and then let's go ahead and test our thrust reversers so all back to idle and pulling back on the thrust reverser little levers and there we go we have our thrust reversers engaged I'm slowly pushing them forward we are all set there okay so we can confirm everything's operating inside the airplane let's go ahead and jump outside the airplane and make sure again working as we would prefer you can see the uh, air brakes the top of the wing or back of the wings just came up so that's working as I like let's test the flaps on the right side you can see the little lever indicator changing ever so small. Uh, we can confirm that flap lever is operating as we'd like. Let's go ahead and test our engines. Engine one. Okay. Engine two. Engine three. And lastly, engine four. Okay, so all my levers are operating. Let's go ahead and test all those thrust reversers we configured. All right. And you can see on our gauges, all are providing reverse thrust. As you can slightly hear, a little bit of uh, reverse thruster noise. So we are all set. The airplane is configured as we would like. Uh, we hope this video was helpful in maybe shaving off a little bit of time and getting your Honeycomb Bravo configured for the commercial four engine. Uh, we'll continue to provide videos as they are generated. And from all of us at Sporties, as always, have fun digitally flying.